Um, if you're selling stock, this is what we have um, a lot of the time with selling stock. Obviously, your, your sheep, your goats, your cattle, they all need to be tagged. Um, and a lot of people, especially like with goats now being worth a bit of money, you know, they'll rent up a few goats and they want to sell them. Well, they need to have tags. So, and to get tags, feral goats. yeah, feral goats, yeah. With feral goats, actually, there's two exemptions. If you're out in the Western country, there's a bloke and they call themselves depots. They've got to register as a depot. You can take goats from your property to the depot. And they don't have to be tagged. Or you can take feral goats straight to an abattoir and they don't have to be tagged. But if you're taking to a sale yard or anywhere at all, feral goats have got to be tagged. Sorry? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you go straight to the abattoirs. Yeah, yeah. So there is those two little exemptions with feral goats. But so at the moment, I suppose a lot of st all stock are worth money, aren't they? Even goats at the money, so that's why the, the stock's right. There's a bit of real crime. So if you get a few feral goats, people have been cutting fences and breaking in and round up feral goats, and you know, because they're worth a few bob. So, but they've got to be tagged. So, and that's where uh, I suppose the tags it, it comes in handy. Like you can you can trace ownership in it. If someone steals some stock, it's easy just to pull the tag out of the rear. But if you're on, if you're when you go to order tags, so if you've got 25 acres and you order, you know, 5,000 tags, people are thinking, what's going on here? You know, there's little ways of sort of tracking things down. Uh, I just sort of put that in, just a bit of an interest. People ask me, oh, is it mandatory to put the coloured tags on, on, on sheep? It's not mandatory, but it's pretty, it's just a handy way of sort of knowing how old your stock are. I know the other day I only got 20 ewes at home and a few of them had black tags. I thought, shit, but they're not 12 months old. Are they? They're born in 2008. So I look at them, a couple of them are missing teeth now. So just, it's, just a, it's just a handy way you know, to, to, to yourself to know where it is. I printed that, that form out and put it over here, if anyone wants to take that with them, because I get mixed up, what colours this year, what colours next year. So if you've got a heap of lambs that are being born now, and you want to tag them, or you think, oh, well, this year, what's this year? Um, yeah, this year's um, white, so you, know, you order some white tags. So it's just a handy thing there. Um, the different tags, um, obviously the, there's different sort of shape tags. You've got your triangle ones, you've got your round ones. Um, that's where they recommend to put them in. I find a lot of cattle, um, if you put them too close to the edge of their ear, they've only got to put their head through the fence when they're feeding and they'll pull them out. I know a lot of people, when they send stock to the sale yards, they go cook. because um, Once stock go in the sale yards, they scan them. If they're missing a tag, well, they charge you to put one in it. People say, oh, I checked them the other day. Well, we know that they come out, but I suppose if you can put them into the middle of the ear more, it'll sort of help a bit. 